Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to add interaction and um, we're going to add timeline animation. Last time we created this um, interaction without trigger using the G um, key on the keyboard and the trigger does this. It gets all the platforms and then shoots, makes them shoot. So what we want is to break the link here so that on interact event we can do something different. We also probably want to add a component. So if you go to trigger blueprint on the um, in the left top left corner, add component, add a sphere. Let's go to viewport and scale the sphere down so it's smaller than the trigger box and the trigger volume thing. Let's raise it a bit. File save. <clears throat> And now inside the game, we can see our trigger sphere. Let's go back to our trigger blueprint event graph on interact. We want to create a new timeline. If you type timeline, it gives you the option. And let's rename it to move timeline. <clears throat> Using move timeline, we can um, will animate the location of our trigger. So we want to obtain some values that are being animated. I usually go for some kind of a ratio, which is ratio of current time versus the duration. If you double click, you will be um, greeted with this track um, or animation editor, timeline editor where you can set the length of the animation, which is the duration in seconds. Let's set it to two. Let's add a new float track and rename it to ratio. And this is going to give us the actual animated values. So if you right click when it says zero, somewhere we can press add key and that will allow us to add a new key. It's like a keyframe. So we're going to manually update the values of time and value. Go to time and press zero and value zero. We're basically saying when time is zero, our ratio value is zero because zero divided by anything, you get zero. Um, where it says two, right click, add another key update the value to be precisely two and update well ad update the time value to be two and then the actual value value should be one we're basically saying we're going from zero to two in the time axis and in the value axis we're going from zero to one and this is the ratio of time over duration and once you've compiled and saved, you should be able to see the ratio um, pin in the timeline node. So when we're updating, and this is the thing that gets called every update of this timeline, we're going to add local offset, which is going to move, add actor local offset, that'll do, which will move our trigger actor by a specified value. Target a self, Delta location, let's right click and split into X, Y, and Z. We're going to animate um, along the X axis, so it's forward. Let's get the ratio and then we're going to multiply that because remember ratio is between zero and one. What we want is um, multiply, we're essentially scaling it by three. Let's go with three and add the return pin to X. Everything else should be exactly the same as default. Compile, save. Oh yeah, we need to connect the interact event to something. Let's go play from start. Compile, save, go back to the game. Play, uh, get close to this thing. Uh, you don't have to get too close because our 
overlap sphere radius that we said last time I think it's pretty big press G and you should see our thing uh, our trigger move nice so we got our simple animation um, using timeline and in a future video we might even add an interpolator to this timeline which will change the rate of variable change meaning we're going to obtain non-linear animation currently the ratio is um, progressing at a constant rate and if we change that rate then we're going to add um, we're, we're going to get really cool animations okay on that note uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video